Hey YouTube, Untamed here. So we are back at it again with Super White's TRD Pro here, his Tundra TRD Pro, and he's done a couple new additions. So I figured I would share it with you guys, as I know it has become a has become a a favorite on the channel here. And I know a lot of you guys follow him on Instagram already. And if you don't, feel free to check him out. His Super White underscore TRD Pro, and I'll throw that in the in the video description if you guys want. Check it out and check out his build in a little bit more detail. Uh, so really, since the last video, he has done a couple of things, but I think there are a couple big things and worth mentioning. So he put on some Method 701 wheels, and then he put on this Dobinson uh, snorkel here. So it has a, after, a different head. So the snorkel does not come with this topper, this head, uh, whereas he put that on from a separate aftermarket company, but it is essentially the same thing as an ARB is what he's telling me. So the, the company ARB uh, has the same exact snorkel. It's made out of the same exact factory by the sounds of it, uh, but it's just, it doesn't have that big ARB nameplate on it. And it's a lot less, a lot less money to get this. I think he said it's almost about half the price to get this particular one. So, and he's already doing some, <laughs> some admittedly a little bit of light river crossing, creek crossing, you know, nothing that would necessarily warrant it yet, but he's getting there. So unlike me, he's actually, you know, putting his vehicle to use a little bit better. Okay. A lot of bit better than me. So, uh, props to him for that. So again, check him out on Instagram if you guys would like, but I figured I'd just share this with you because as you guys know, I am a huge fan of white lettering out. As you guys know, I did that on my Land Cruiser. Um, and, and I think I managed to sucker him into doing it too. So these are the BFG Goodwrench KO2s. Um, the same ones that he had on before. So these are, let me make sure I'm telling you correctly. These are 35 by 12.5 18s. So 18 inch wheel, again, method, uh, methods, uh, 701s is the actual name of the wheel. And I think it looks awesome. And another thing that you're probably going to ask me about, so I asked in advance, so the offset is uh, plus 25 for this particular wheel. And I think the fitment looks perfect. So before, with his stock TRD wheels, he had to have, uh, I think it was a, uh, I think it was a 25 millimeter Bora spacer that he had. And, and if you guys know, spacers, they're good. I mean, they, they've come a long way. I think spider tracks and Bora tend to be the best products out there uh, when it comes to them for, for these particular vehicles. But you know, they do add an additional amount of stress on the hub, an additional amount of stress on, you know, the wheel bearing. It's just, it's a little bit more uh, work for your vehicle to do that. Whereas this, when you actually get a wheel set to that particular offset, it's, it's perfect. You know, you're not adding additional stress to your vehicle, which this is the way to go. So let me give you some different angles for you to check out. I think it looks great. I think his next step is to put on a uh, front metal bumper. So he's swapping out the bumpers next. That's his next uh, upgrade, if you will. Unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to be here when it actually arrives and for him to put it on. I think he's putting on the first week of July. And unfortunately, it's the same week that we are departing for the East Coast. So if you want to continue seeing this build, just check him out on Instagram. I'll show you this side too. I think it's perfect. A little better than a stock setup on the Forerunner. <laughs> so I'll just wrap up this video with doing just a kind of a full up walk around of it. So you guys get eyes on. All these other additions that he's done, I've already kind of walked through in detail in previous videos. So I won't beat a dead horse in this one. Yeah, but let me know what you guys think. I think, I think he'd done this upright. Let me know if there's anything that you would have done differently. I love how there really is a 50-50 a divide when it comes to the white lettering outward on these KO2s. I think it's just 
I love it, especially on a white vehicle. It just makes sense. So I think I've geeked out plenty about that in my previous videos, but I just, I love it. And again, if you want more details on all the other aftermarket components he has on, just check out my previous videos. I'm gonna walk through it. Hey, props to him. He, he's flying the flags the right way this time around. <laughs> That's a dog on me too. As a good friend, I should have noticed that during that last video. All right, team. Well, we'll wrap up the video with a little bit of TRD Pro pan out shot. So I appreciate you guys watching as always. Till next time.